Welcome everyone, today we will analyze and talk about everything what happened in Skibidi Toilet 70 Part 3 and yes in this episode lots of things happened. Before we start make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel to not miss any other analysis episodes, now let's get straight to video. This is one of the longest episodes ever made and also one of the saddest episode because lots of good character have left, in this episode we finally get new who is secret agent really and why is he helping alliance. We are continuing the video in the tunnel where plunger cameraman and dark speakerman almost get caught. Here comes one giant big ass toilet which somehow didn't see the duo because they became invisible and here we see lucky cameraman's ghost which made them invisible. Looks like secret agent has much more power than we think because he literally controls ghosts and can make anyone invisible. After this comes one of the most interesting moment when secret agent Akea Daffik Boom speaks to Skibidi scientist and tells him goodbye. We have seen in previous episode how he made become leader of this place but something went wrong and here he's crew messed up and now he tries to wipe out these powerful scientists. Skibidi scientist finally got caught, he tried to escape but he didn't know that plunger cameraman had remote which can control every single electronic even his toilet armor and teleporter which was shocking for this old man. Finally this is the moment we all have waiting for battle begins but sadly this brave dark speakerman gets cut in half but I call him brave because he started fighting back without his lower body this is true warrior spirit. This freaking old man's one I went off and for revenge he finished dark speakerman so press F in comments to pay your respects for this great character. But yeah he didn't forget to show him middle finger so like this video if you would do the same haha. -ha. This old man really tried to escape after he left one on one with plunger cameraman what a disappointment. But in that moment large TV man with speakers enters in battlefield and tells scientists this. He said my technology about teleportation so he could cancel him teleporting to other place. This ugly old man didn't like it so he attacked large TV man but he got TV with speakers so scientist went in bunker where he had bigger clone of himself and here comes another voice line from large TV man. This is where real party begins haha. -ha. Scientist got clone and started destroying the building but he didn't wanted to fight alliance because he was trying to escape them from the beginning he is not warrior he's just a evil old man which creates crazy skibidi toilets that's why he is managing this whole giant laboratory. Alliance really needed some help and this is where woman trio is showing up now imagine these ladies showing up to you at valentine's day oh I really said this out loud forget about it let's continue our analysis. This large cameraman didn't left unnoticed look how heroic he is fighting alone this giant scientist. He had one mission and did it great while his life was on thinnest string. He catch scientist's attention and help three thick lady go into scientist body. Sorry I mean he helped woman trio to get unnoticed into scientist's armor. If you pay better attention you can clearly see woman trio had knives in their hands and large cameraman had gun. They really made this plan in hurry because they didn't know if scientist had this giant clone in the base so they basically used large cameraman as a bait but he did a great job. Like this video if you love TV woman sorry I mean if you agree my opinion. In this moment Skibidi scientist will see bad dreams in his armor. This scream is really crazy but do you know where else you have seen same moment when Skibidi toilet went crazy? If you don't remember I got you. Episode 66, military toilet going crazy after speaker duo smashing his head but yeah scientist's reaction was lot better and crazier. Poor guy lol but deserved. In this moment scientist lost control over his clone and look at him now, his face and head is almost destroyed, I'm glad not even one woman got scratch or anything. And yeah after this crazy battle he still tried to escape lol, what a dramatic and bad day for this poor crazy scientist. 
I lost my count how many times he tried to escape so please write in the comments lol. He almost escaped but Titan Trio said surprise Matafuka to him. Imagine having battle with every single cameraman and speakerman still staying alive, tried to escape multiple time, went crazy at some point. Still managed to escape but in the end these giant dudes waiting for you outside to get jumped. I think this was worst ending for anyone and anything in these episodes. And this is the correct reaction on this information lol. Poor guy begged Titan cameraman to left him alone. But Titan Trio already knew what they would do to him. But at some point Titan Speakerman went from the plan and did what he always does, went crazy haha. After Titan Cameraman's blast and TV man's punch this old man still was breathing and fighting for his life you can see it here. But yeah, Speakerman did what he should have done, but it was in very crazy way. Titan TV man and cameraman really stayed speechless because this was greatest banger after TV woman I mean in episode. If you pay close attention you will see that Titan TV man's one of the TV is broken which was not broken by Astro Toilet in previous episode. We can clearly see his TVs are in great condition so how and who broke his TV? This means Titan Trio had another fight after Astro Toilets before they showed up to Skibidi Scientist location and I hope we will see that moment in full episode where Daffic Boom will its secret scenes. So yeah, maybe this is enough beating for this scientist he already gone. Nah bro is not stopping. Finally, very important moment in series we got Ken Skibidi Scientist before GTA 6, Large TV man showed up again with broken TV and says this. Now reverse it. Now we will see very saddest moments in the history of Skibidi Toilet episodes. Plunger cameraman assumed this brave dark speakerman as a traitor when he left two cameramans in the tunnels. Where Plungerman even started to hit him and after this he didn't even hold his hand when speakerman was trying to get him up from elevator. For dark speakerman it was very sad experience but he proved that he was on Alliance's side and he even saved Plungerman's life and got back his trust, fought like a warrior and died like a warrior. Pay your respects in the comments. Everyone is sad and TV woman shows tears on her screen this is really sad moment, but most important moment begins here. If you pay close attention you can see that transmission error shows up only when secret agent is near, and again we see lucky cameraman's ghost and immediately shows up two other cameraman's ghosts and they are taking plungerman into secret agent's dimension. Looks like their job is done here that's why they are shaking hands. This error is also means that no other cameraman or alliance member can see what's plungerman seeing. And yeah, we finally met the creator of the cameramans, TV mans and speakermans. Thanks to you that the scientist is cooked. He got every part of his creations on the table and this is how his room looks like. He also tells Plungerman that bigger enemy is this Astro Toilet which was main scientist in the laboratory. He is Astro Toilet the which is shaking secret agent's hand. Now imagine how powerful he is. Looks like there is some things which is unknown for Skibidi Toilets and that's why they have to remain secret. Otherwise if Astro Toilets get those things there will be Skibidi Apocalypse and secret agent won't have power to stop them. For the last he says that in this battle Plungerman didn't survive and Plungerman dying with this information so this means this place is like heaven for cameramans because after death they are meeting their creator. After this moment error is removing from screen so it proves the theory that if someone sees error their vision is disabled for other cameramans and only lucky cameraman sees the creator. And yeah, after Dark Speakerman this is second saddest moment in this episode you can see how said camera woman and TV woman are. And for the last Plungerman looks at his big brother and says goodbye with thumbs up so if you guys like this video please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to not miss any other analysis videos till next meeting bye.